The city of Hudaida was once an important commercial harbor for Yemen. Now it resembles a ghost town. Abraham Omar Salim. My name is Omar Salim. I am from Hudaida. We fled from shelling and airstrikes because we had children. We came to Sana'a. In June, the government, backed by a Saudi-led coalition, began a campaign to retake the city from the Houthi rebels, who've controlled Hudaida for the past three years. In the fighting that followed, hundreds of people were killed and tens of thousands of civilians displaced. For people still in Hudaida, daily life is dangerous. The coalition has been bombing rebel positions and people have been killed or injured by Houthi landmines and roadside bombs. Where is the humanity? Where is conscience? They have no shame. Do they not see that there are children here? The fighting has hindered imports of food and medicine. Markets face shortages and hospitals are low on supplies. Hospitals in Hudaida are also dangerously understaffed as doctors flee the violence themselves. We call on international humanitarian organizations to help in resolving this disaster to secure the hospitals, to secure the doctors, to provide us with what we need for the treatment of the wounded and the sick. The medical staff who remain are stretched thin, and aid organizations say Yemen has become the world's worst humanitarian crisis. Access to safe drinking water is limited, and cases of diarrhea and cholera are on the rise. And with no end in sight to the fighting in Hudaida, Yemenis are trying to find a way to survive with whatever they have. Regan Devine's TRT World.